Hello friends, this video on squares and square roots part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the now next question that comes to your mind is how do we find square root of a number that it seems to be a big challenge that finding squares were pretty easier because we only had to multiply even if we go by the actual multiplication method but then we learned some tricks also to make that easier but how do we find square root now we have a couple of options so first let us talk about the simplest option which is repeated subtraction though it is the simplest option but it is not a very uh, favorable or very suitable one but still we will learn about it now if you remember while we were learning about squares of numbers we saw that to find square numbers we added odd numbers so, so i think this list would help you to go back to the uh, recap so you see for all the perfect squares 1 4 9 16 25 36 and so on to to find their values we just kept on adding odd numbers right and then we said that the sum of first n odd numbers is n square and that n square is a perfect square so that was one way of finding squares of numbers now we saw that square root is just the inverse function of squares so this time also we will do something with the odd numbers but we will not add instead of addition we will subtract them so that is why this method is repeated subtraction method so let us take one example let's say we consider the number 25 so you have to find out the square root of 25 so what are we going to do we are going to subtract odd numbers from 25 and how are we going to do that so we will do it in steps so in first step we subtract the first odd number from 25 the first odd number is 1 so how much do we get we get 24 in the second step we further subtract from 24 like from the result that we obtained in step 1 from that we subtract the next odd number which is 3 so 24 minus 3 is 21 in third step we subtract from 21 the next odd number which is 5 so this becomes 16 in fourth step we subtract from 16 the next odd number which is 7 so we get 9 now you might be thinking that how long are we going to do this so we will continue this process until and unless we get a zero here so in step number 5 we are going to subtract the next odd number from 9 and the next odd number is also 9 so the result is 0 so what happens is doesn't matter whichever the number is for which you want to find out the square root so if, if that is a perfect square only then you will get a whole number for the square root right so you will be able to find out the square root only for the perfect squares right so if it is a perfect square then as you keep subtracting an odd number from that number you finally would get zero now what you have to do now you have to see in how many steps did you get this zero in how many steps one two three four five so you got this in five steps so that means square root of 25 is five it is as simple as that okay now you might be thinking when we were doing squares we were adding consecutive odd numbers right for example to get 25 we added the first five odd numbers so here also we did the same thing basically we subtracted the first five odd numbers so since it is subtraction so we try to do this in five separate steps so that it becomes easy for you to see that how many times you did that subtraction so you see just the inverse thing so since square root is inverse of square so to find squares we added odd numbers to sub to get square root we subtract odd numbers perfect however this method is not suitable for large numbers for example here we took 25 so that was fine now let's say that if i ask you to find out the square root of 21 121 so do you think that this is a very suitable method because in that case your the square root of 121 is actually 11 so you are actually going to have some 11 steps like this so if i ask you to find out square root of 1600 so you will have some 40 steps so this number is not at all suitable for large numbers so we need some other method so 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.